100 dice. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is our third video in our project nerddice.com, Ruby on Rails 7 project, where in our previous videos we've just done the initial project setup, and then in the last video we installed and configured RuboCop as our kind of code linting mechanism here. And in this project, in this video, we're going to be uh, taking a look at setting up GitHub Actions for the project. I had initially had coveralls and GitHub Actions and Code Climate in a different order, but uh, in order for coveralls to work properly, we need to have um, that GitHub Action set up to invoke it. So we're gonna we've got our action our issue here. We'll take a look at it on nerddice.com. So one of the things we need to do. Um, and it notes to uh, refer to the the nerd dice gem and I've got another video where I set up uh, github actions for the nerd dice gem um, hopefully this will go quicker and if you want to go more into detail about troubleshooting and all that then uh, we would you could refer to that video I'll post it in the uh, the notes there and uh, if we Look at nerd dice. We've got this dot github slash workflows directory, and then we've got a main workflow here. So uh, you can see there are certain things like R spec. We're going to wind up having to change and adapt. We don't need a matrixed set of Ruby versions. And then uh, because we're only going to be running on one Ruby version, it's not like a Ruby gem with nerd dice where we need to support multiple versions of Ruby and test for all of them. Um, and then um, this benchmark thing for right now, I don't think we've got anything particular. We're going to um, have a benchmark script for, uh, so we'll omit that for the time being. And then the coveralls finished, we'll need to wind up uh, coveralls parallel and coveralls finish will we'll wind up uh, commenting out for this initial um, set of things and then we will add it in in the next video when we set up coveralls. So the other thing, and I'm going to take a look at this site here, um, go up here, so uh, Rails system test with GitHub Actions. Um, so because we're not using the uh, SQLite 3 gem, we're going to have to take a little bit more, um, a little bit more setup in our GitHub action. We're going to have to install Postgres. Um, I'm going to skip Redis for now. We'll deal with that later. And then um, we need to have information about the Rails environment and um, Postgres and all that stuff. So that will be what we'll, uh, we'll incorporate after copying this into our uh, initial file. So the other thing is that we're going to wind up iteratively working on this. So I, I don't expect everything to pass the first time and we'll, we'll work on adding in new things as kind of after we get that hello world level of things. Uh, the other thing is that we've got to have, make sure that our application systems test case works correctly so I'm going to create a temporary one for the the smoke test page that's really simple but we'll demonstrate that the um, uh, I spelled action wrong but um, that will demonstrate the um, that the fact that the application system test cases work with the um, the github action so let's get started I'm gonna go into my repo here and we're going to check out a branch. I'm on main. All right, and then I'm just going to start off by doing a um, dash p. Go 
go into the directory and then we're going to start by copying the file there make sure everything is working there so we've got our new github workflows Uh, well, I'm going to take away pull request for now. I'm the only person who's uh, pushing to this repo for the time being and having to wait for the actions while we're on the video. Uh, it will wind up um, just slowing things down. So um, having to do it, essentially, I'm, 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 for the most part, I'm going to have a commit and then I'm going to pull request the commit. So there isn't a real need to do that. So um, then we are going to rename this action test rails. We don't need... the matrix and coveralls we're going to Probably a faster way to do that in VS Code, but all right. Benchmark will get rid of. reference here and we'll comment you out now we need to add in our services and stuff I guess we'll just call it build. I don't really need Rubocop to be a separate install there. I think that's just going to slow us down. Do the, we'll do Robocop before the tests because that will fail faster if it's wrong. Alright, leave that there. Get rid of Robocop. build. Now we need to get back to our services. rid of Redis for now. Add in this 
Postgres section change the order of these things, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah, we want that before Ruby. Otherwise, it's going to fail the bundle. All right, continue looking on here. We don't need to deal with yarn. We will set up our database. test with mini test we have some environment stuff to deal with So let's see, and I'm gonna, just for the sake of dealing with things, we'll take a look at our status. So we'll try adding this. I doubt it's gonna work as intended the first time, but um, so I'm gonna use just a quick commit message. We'll squash things and write a proper message at the end once we get things passing here. So all right try pushing it and seeing if anything kicks off. So we'll go to our nerddice.com. It looks like our action kicked off and is queued. I'll pause and we'll see how it goes. All right, so our initial action failed pretty quickly. Let's take a look at what happened. Unable to resolve actions checkout at V. I think that was V2. Let me check. Yeah, V2. So I managed to clip that off. Let's try it again. So get Edit. We have to add it first. Hold on. Let me copy my command. Of 
force push, see how things go now. Go back to our actions on the correct repo. Pause and let this second attempt see how it goes. All right, as you can see on the screen, about eight hours of real time passed between when I kicked this off and now it was pulled away a bit. Hopefully there aren't any huge continuity errors in the video, but uh, we'll take a look at this attempt. So still failed, but it looks like it made it farther in the process. So let's see here. So it made it Rubicop passed and then our database failed. So let's take a look at our database error here. So could not find your database Postgres, which is not what we put in. So it talks about config database.yaml. So let's take a look at that. So we've got default Postgres adapter Unicode, and then we're not actually even specifying a database and password in the in the database.yaml. So we've got an example here that uses Postgres, so options are similar. Uh, I like Rails DB setup better than what we have in our existing main file there. So Rails DB setup. Let's see if we can just get away with not doing this and see what happens. See if that gives us progress or not. Pause. All right, we still failed. Let's take a look at our failure and see what connection bad. Dice.com test. Take a look more here. Cannot find your database. Let me make sure that I actually modified this. commented some stuff out. I'm still setting those Postgres env items, which the other version didn't do. Let me see if fixing that does anything. again. All right, let's take a look and it looks like this failed faster than the others. So let's see what happened in the build here. Yeah, it 
didn't successfully initialize containers. So we took a step in the wrong direction. Let's undo what we did here. I can at least do this. Try that. We will add stick commit. Oh. Spell the mend wrong. See if that gives us more information. Pause and let that action carry out. All right, so we're back to a similar time frame of failure. Let's see what happened in our build. Let's see if we can fix that. We'll run, do the same. Env stuff here. Let's see if that helps anything. Try another round of iterations on this. and let this complete. All right, so we failed again. This one took longer, but still failed in the same area there. Let's take a look at our, so we had a GitHub action here. This had no environment stuff. But it didn't work. Maybe it's because it's trying to do a socket connection. So that's trying to do ver run on the socket. I wonder if it's a permissions issue. See if using sudo 
solves the issue and if so we need to maybe just add the postgres user and everything to have permission to that path see how that one goes all right we're still failing still couldn't get the PSQL to work. I'll get rid of the sudo there. Let's see if we can do is anything be our Skip the PSQL part. See if that gets us any closer. Pause and see how that goes. So continuing to fail here and um, I think I might have found a solution that works and it involves essentially creating a um, database.yaml.github actions and then copying that before attempting to set up your database. So let's give that a shot. We're going to go in and config, create a new file, call it file in our editor so Postgres localhost database is going to be called github dash actions and then we'll run this before we set up our items here and let's see here so 
looks like just create the user and the password. I mean, or we could just name our database in the YAML here. Postgres. That matches. And now we've got test localhost Postgres 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 test localhost Postgres 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 We're gonna probably fail with this master key, but if we can make it that far, I will be quite pleased. Oh, we need to, did we add in the, we need to run, add in the, um, command to run there. Copy. Here we go. Just do Rails DB setup. And let's see if that improves our state of affairs. pause and cross our fingers. All right, let's see what happened here. So we still have a failure, but that is a promising error. So that that's just a failure of a, um, a matter of us not having a schema yet. Uh, so that would have succeeded. We just don't have a Schema. So we should be able to now do the other side of things. I mean, let me see if I can run a DB migrate with no migrations. So maybe that will cause us to 
to have a working build. pause and see if that gets us past the database setup portion of the build. All right, let's see what we've got now. It's still a failure. And now we're failing on RuboCop. Okay, so let's, this is our um, the schema is auto generated from the state of the database. So we need to go into our rubocop.yaml Do we have an all cops level where we can exclude schema.rb just isn't the right file. And we do want that excluded here, but that's not our actual one here. Try it again. Back to no offenses. And force push. See where that gets us now. And ladies and gentlemen, we are green. So our build has now succeeded. Our database section here is, so the database already exists. So we should probably either not create it in initialized containers or create it in the setup database section. We'll try to make that one more tweak and then we'll stop there for this video after we get um, that warning taken care of. And then in, in the next video, we'll go in and try to create um, those Applicate a couple of tests to make sure that the um, that the application system test cases work before we consider this issue done. So we're going to go in here and see if we can just get rid of the Postgres DB here. Modify it to we'll drop and set up just to make sure that well, that seems like a waste of time, though.
Let's see if we can get it with no database. One more try, I hope. See how that goes. All right, we're still green. Let's see if our log is a little cleaner now. It's still saying the database already exists. Maybe we'll swap that to actually be different than the default one. GitHub Actions here. No, nah, it works. Let's not trifle over a database already exists warning. So we'll, in the next video, we'll pick up and try to create an application system test case that passes locally and passes on the, um, the CI. So we'll stop there. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.